Hello, I've had a question in uh, three physics unit one, lesson four. I'm looking at question number one, going through an explanation on how to handle the word problems. So the big thing with these vector word problems is being able to draw the vectors so that you can translate them, all, translate them to an algebraic equation. So for the first one, a man attempts to row a boat at 10 kilometers an hour north. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself my axes east and north. I'm going to draw my first vector on, so 10 kilometers directly north, 10 kilometers an hour. So I'm going to call that my u vector. Next, um, he's going directly across the 4 kilometer an hour east current. So the current is heading east at 4 kilometers an hour. So this is going to be my second vector. I'm going to call that my v vector. What is the true speed and direction? All right, so that is physics speak for what is the resultant? We know from previous lessons two and three, we calculate our resultant by doing u plus v. So I'm going to use the stacked algebraic addition in order to come up with the resultant. So when I look at this, the u vector is heading directly north. So that means there's zero i component plus 10j. The v vector is directly east, 4i plus and no y component, so 0j. Adding those up, the resultant will be 4i plus 10j. Once we have that, we are now into kind of cruise control. It's the same as what you did in lessons 2 and 3. The magnitude of your resultant is the x component squared plus y component squared. So 4 squared plus 10 squared. So we end up with the square root of 116. And that will be kilometers per hour. You can convert that to a decimal. You don't need to keep it in exact value. So that's about 10.8 kilometers an hour. The angle tan inverse the y component over the x component, tan inverse y component is 10, x component is 4. So doing that calculation, 10 divided by 4, I get 68 degrees. So my answer, therefore, the resultant is 10.8 kilometers an hour. My direction, when we use the algebraic method, is always positive x component, so it means it's heading east, positive y component, so it's heading north. So the answer would be east, 68 degrees north. Now the common mistake here, people right away in my regular classroom will say, well, I'm not getting the right answer. That's not what the answer says up here. It says 22 degrees off center. So let's talk about that. If I look at my diagram, 22 degrees off center, so they're looking at it in terms of crossing the river, that's 22 degrees. If you find the complement to that, 22 and, or 22 and you take that away from 90, you get 68. All right, so 22 degrees off center is equal to east 68 degrees north. All right, so you need to be careful with the answers because what I've done with the answers in this particular set of homework uh, is not always giving you in the right order because you need to recognize there are two ways to report a particular direction. If you have any other questions with that example, let me know and I'll try to clarify.